Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that shows you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Alright, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe button, also that notification icon, so you can never miss an upload. So, uh, guys, I just want to do uh, basically a video on the six keys of being a better player on defense. Um, I have watched a lot of pros, I've, I've, I've implemented a lot of the strategies, and one of the things that I've discovered is that. Um, to be better on defense, you have to have a defensive philosophy that's going to be very difficult for your opponent to um, predict, um, anticipate, have pretty much a lot of the key attributes to actually lock down a person's uh, um, offense. Now, there are a lot of great videos out there, um, but I just wanted to kind of share with you the six things that I've discovered that are the, are the key things to being better on defense. And I hope that you can take these, and if you watch my videos and you watch other YouTubers and, and other and pro players, you'll start noticing these type of tendencies too. So uh, let's go ahead and talk about the first thing that uh, I find that is very, very important when you're playing Madden um, online. First and foremost, you don't want to run stock defenses. So don't call a defensive play uh, the way it comes out of the huddle and just assume that's going to stop your opponent um, on a regular basis. What you'll need to do is make make hot adjustments and adjustments and stuff like that. So if you run cover two, you might want to you might want to do underneath coverage and do hard flats. If you're running uh, basically cover four, you might want to protect the sticks, or you might want to go ahead and press your guys or base align or man align. You want to go ahead and keep on giving your opponent a different look, and you want to try to give them a, a different uh, different ways the coverage is played. Uh, over the top coverage, uh, underneath coverage, you want to make those type of adjustments as it's going to help you dramatically uh, with your game. So if you play against a, a good Madden player and you start running stock defenses, you don't make any kind of adjustments with the coverages or the alignments or move people around, um, a good Madden player is going to see that you're just running stock defenses and they're going to shred you, completely shred you in this game. So you definitely want to try to avoid that as much as possible. Now, because it's Madden 20, you have to go ahead and pay attention to the run. Run defense is a must in Madden 20. Um, a lot of players basically use, uh, they do the run play and have very good success with it. Uh, so you're going to have to have some kind of run defense that you can come out and actually stop your opponent's run. So uh, a common people, a common people do a lot of like man coverages now to play, to take care of run, uh, runs. Uh, they they practice shooting run fits. So it's it, it's imperative that you have some kind of a run scheme. Uh, one of the main run defenses I use online uh, primarily is the edge, uh, the 34 edge uh, edge blitz, and with the ba you know uh, basically going and switching your guys together, spreading out your linebackers. User in the middle line, uh, the uh, the safety over the top, and that that places plays a fits. But if you struggle with run game, if you need run defense, put put us uh, put a note down in, in the description. Not only will my subscribers that follow the channel probably provide some tips, but I can provide some tips too for you. So if you struggle against a run game, you definitely have to to have something like that. Now the third thing that I've noticed, and this is one of the things that's very common with a lot of pro players. And a lot of good players, and the players that I struggle with on defense, is they show me the same look on every snap of the play. Like, I'm seeing the same defensive alignment pretty much every single play. They're not, they're not switching up their defensive alignments a lot. They're actually showing me the same look. And one of the reasons why I run a 34 defense is because I like to show the same type of look, and it provides me a lot of versatility. So uh, that's what the pro players do. They actually show the same kind of a defense game in game out and they basically show the same type of a look they have pressure built out of it they've got basically uh, ways to go ahead and play run defense and they have ways to go ahead and play with their, play with their coverages so that's why it's important that you don't run those stock def uh, run those stock coverages and you have run defense and you give your opponent the same type of a look if you're if you're going into different types of formations and showing your opponent different types of looks he's going to start picking up on your tendencies so if you can if you can run one cover one defense and show your opponent basically the same type of a look, play and play out, he's going to have to start guessing where he's going to go at. So top Madden players usually run one formation only on defense. They rarely jump out of the, out of the, like the pro players rarely jump out of different types of uh, coverages. So it's important that you do that. So you want to go ahead and show basically the same look uh, as much as possible. Now, uh, the next thing you want to go ahead and take a look at uh, is, is basically making sure that you have a back pocket blitz. 
this is what I mean by back pocket blitz. You want to basically have something in your back pocket that you can go ahead and uh, essentially have that pressure whenever you need it so you can put a person in a long uh, long situation or blitz them in a second such a second and long situation or a third and long situation so a lot of the Madden players basically will set up their defenses so they have the blitz look set up and maybe fall back in coverage or, or run some type of hybrid coverage or something like that or they'll basically go ahead and send the house after them but you want to give your opponent the same type of look you want to be able to have pressure you want to be able to hit someone with pressure as as as, as quickly as possible so some players, a lot of pro players and mana players, just blitz someone, just constantly, constantly blitz, 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 blitz until until someone actually goes ahead and beats them. So that's a very key attribute of being a successful player is having that back pocket blitz to basically get someone um, uh, off the field, third and long, fourth and long, force them to go ahead and make uh, make make kind of uh, uh, punts and stuff like that. Now um, another thing that you need to do is have hot rod adjustments. I see players. YouTubers, guys that are really good at this game, and you know they, they win a lot of games, and, and they they will provide stuff, but they don't really understand how to use the new adjustments for the hot rods. So they'll actually go ahead and click on each individual player and make a hot rod adjustment and get themselves out of position. If you want to take your game to the next level, you're going to have to basically go ahead and play, not use stock coverages. You're going to have to understand all the hot route uh, adjustments and basically go ahead and make adjustments where you're, you're turning your players into hybrid players, cross banning your safeties or middle linebackers, dropping uh, defensive backs uh, or defensive linemen back into spots, uh, zones, or spies and stuff like that. And you have to be very, very effective with it. The guys that are, are the pro level, the guys that are in the tournaments and winning, winning Madden money, the the skimbos, uh, uh, the young kids, those guys basically their motor skills of making these hot rod adjustments, and making adjustments with their defenses is unbelievably fast. So sometimes if you're not good at it, you just have to get into the, get into the lab and just practice. And it might literally, you might be sitting for an hour just practicing your hot hot rod setups to set up your defenses, and it's going to help you dramatically. Another thing you can do too is stay out of the practice mode and go into the into the game mode if you don't want to take an online game but go into a regular game mode and practice against the computer setting up all these elaborate blitzes and elaborate coverages i trust me if you know how to make adjustments you're going to play much more effective in this game and me better with it so hot rod adjustments i can't stress it if you're not efficient at it if you want to get better at this game you have to become more efficient at it and understand what the hot rod adjustments and finally, what we're going to take a look at is that, and this is probably the most common sense thing, but some of the things that really uh, you should know, but most people just don't really talk about it, is that you don't want to be predictable. Don't keep running the same coverage over and over and over again. Don't keep running the same you know, blitz over and over and over again, because any good Madden player worth his salt is going to go ahead and beat you if you become too predictable. So what you want to do is make sure that you're actually going ahead and running um, trying to change up your defensive shells, running different types of hybrid coverages, putting players in, into passing lanes, and showing your opponent, um, you know, basically the same look, but having different coverages, and that's going to throw them off a little bit. So, uh, guys, once again, thank you for support. I really appreciate it. I'll be rolling out more Madden offensive and defensive tips, and if you do like these type of tips, go ahead and smash the like button, and until next time.